Ah, yes. <clears throat> and so it begins again. Fish Center Live, 708-794-6386. This is Matt. I'm here with Max, Dave, and Cho. And our man on the street... ...who is ready. Max, explain what's going on. There is a big thing. We're playing a game called High... How High is Mammoth? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. yeah. We put him in a situation, you guess the altitude, and don't give us some of that bad tude. You know what I mean? When people throwing lip at you for playing a fun game? Nah, this is just as high how is ma'am. And it goes in the corner. So First people caller. can call, guess how the altitude of mammoth yeah. in specific areas. And then Cho rewards points based on proximity and you know, the sliding scale that he functions in. Yeah. Take a look around. You'll see a uh, young helper. Where is Mammoth? I don't see Mammoth. Yeah, that needs to be a to gauge. Right I saw a serial killer. An accurate representation of how. Let's get a shot of Mammoth. Did mammoth. we declare, and you said sea level, right? Let's not see the altimeter yet. We just want to don't see Mammoth. Don't show the altimeter. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. There it is. Okay, good. We do have an altimeter. There's Mammoth. Mammoth is at a certain altitude on Earth. Now, who is this guy? He's like one of the big wigs. He's a stranger who would be picked up off the streets. I think he's a troubled youth. Let's see the guesses. Are they coming in? Are we getting any calls, Joe? 708-794-6386. Oh, no, I got bad news. Another device on the network is using my computer's IP address. What does that mean? I don't know. Another device on the network is using my computer's IP address. So then go into your thing and say refresh or renew IP. Oh, okay. man, that's bad okay. news. Make the Merciful is at eight, says 800 feet. Super Scott says 2,800 feet. I don't care. I'll share my IP. I'll share my IP with I anybody. who knew it. Big Sexy 420 says <laughs> 638 ish feet. Big Sexy. Vorticai says 83 meters. <laughs> I don't know how many feet that is. Vorticai. 83 meters is about 26 feet. No, it's about, two, it's about 8 feet. Joe? Um, I'm, I'm venturing a guess. The height above sea level? Yeah. I How high is Mammoth above sea level? 83 feet. What right. if someone steals at Mammoth? What if Lord Tony Z comes here, drops a Confederate flag like I he always does? I have a feeling does. we're not right going to see Lord Tony Z for a long, long time. All right, we've got all of our possible. Yeah, why don't we let our guests guess? Guess? <laughs> <laughs> How about that? And here we have Gus. All the way from, I'm, where are you guys from? Canton, Connecticut. Canton, Connecticut. Hi. Why aren't you doing a ragtime dance? Why aren't you doing a ragtime dance? Why am I not doing a ragtime dance? Why am I not doing a ragtime dance? Patrick here's the flapper girl. Patrick of here's the flapper fans. girl <laughs> of center fans. <laughs> No, I'm the fragile one of Fish Center fans. Oh, no. Aquino and Patrick are here, all the way from Canton, Connecticut. Dedicated Fish Center listeners. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Mo from Los Angeles. What is your guess, sir, for how high is Mammoth? 37 feet. 37 feet. Off the sea level. Patrick and Aquino, what is your guess? Aquino, why don't you go first? I can't guess. I'm bad at these games. Well, you don't know until you try. Don't um, put pressure on people, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick, what is your guess? Um, I'm going to say 19 feet. 19 feet. We, uh, someone writing this down? <laughs> I'm doing this right now. I'm putting at uh, Morg That's or what, whoever's name it was. So Morg? Guesses. Morg. Morg was 37. Patrick said what? 19. 19. Hey, you know, Lulaberry. Okay. Do you know Lulaberry? Do you remember Lulaberry is old school? Wants to be a guest. Max. Remember Lula Bear? I don't you remember all the Lula Bear. I remember Lula I'm not, Bear. We'll go through chat. Dave Max, can look through chat. writing. I, right. uh, Is it time to reveal the answer? It's time. I've got a feeling we're not going to see uh, Lord Tony. It is time to reveal the answer. How high is Mammoth? Is it 148? Minus oh. 144 feet. Oh, wow. That doesn't sound right. You can't be below sea level. Sure you can. Subways. Yeah, but he's not on a subway. No. Huh. What? 
All right. Well, we may have a maybe it means 144 problem. feet. Show double checking on his altimeter. Yeah, but I haven't reset mine. Mine's also off. Okay. Well, I'm, we're going with what we know. I'm getting best. 922 feet. Dave, okay. can you look up altitude of 54 times street. street? Yeah, times street. Times street. Okay, stand by. We're checking. Uh. Um. Uh, it doesn't just give me an answer. I like saying a negative gross. A negative gross is oh, funny. Oh, hold on. Okay. Elevation, 15 meters. 49 feet. 49, 49 feet. 49 feet. So 144 negative Equals plus 49, 49 plus 49. We're going to find out how off it is. That's 193. Johnny Tyler says it's an incorrectimeter. Incorrectimeter. So, well, now we know it's That's 193 huh? feet off. And you know what? Mork on the line. You guessed 37. That's pretty close. But see, we're also uphill from Times Square. That's we're true. We're a little bit higher than Times Square. Shit. <laughs> well, well, not well, we've got to go with the altimeter, what it says. That's our standard. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, so this round is not worth points. It just sets the standard. Sets the standard. All right. Okay. Gentlemen on the street, please find our next stop. We have calibrated. We've officially calibrated. We calibrated to the Matt Harrigan negative 144 standard. Yeah. Dave is saying hang loose, Matt. Okay. Fish, thanks for calling. Fish on Live, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, hey. It's uh, Tony. Oh, hey, Tony. Oh, man. How's it going? Tony, how come you're not here? Well, how come I wasn't invited? You're invited. I could have showed up. I'm invited, I'll show up. Tony sounds right like he's there. had a couple. That slur is impressive. Tony, what, what's... Are you at work again? Drinking at work? Uh, I don't have a job. Oh. Yes. So, yes. Yet though, I like the optimism. Pa Patrick, can I tell Tony a thing you told me before the show? Okay. What was that? Uh, Patrick is kind of a teetotaler, right? What? You don't drink, right? Yeah. But Tony's clearly drinking a lot. You guys want to have a debate on alcohol? Yeah. No. <laughs> Tony, you're not okay. drinking, are you? It's the great alcohol debate. Tony, there's no way you're you're drinking booze. Tony, you're oh, for no. alcohol. Dude, if he's 20, yeah. 21 Make your years points. of age, there is a way. You, 21? you know what? I'm not, I'm not, can I drink the mammoth jar? No, sir. We need that I mean, to preserve mammoth's can, body. But yeah. that would be a very, very bad idea. That would be your last drink. But it, yeah, probably. I mean, it'll get me drunk, right? That can be your last drink if, well, you, uh, if you want to have it on your desk. It also bed. costs, what, what does mammoth cost? Mammoth? All you need, Tony, uh, is 16900 and something dollars. All right, I, I'll buy it. You, you, know. can, you can do whatever you want once you buy them. All right, sounds good. John Paul uh, Marat asks, are I these play... two users in the chat? Usually, not today. Can I play another or something? Is going down to the subway? Ain't no love. But to answer your question, I'm usually known as Visk or Viskter in the chat room. How'd you come up with that name? What does that mean? It's just my old name from when I played EverQuest back in high school. What's EverQuest? Is that a... Uh, it was one of the older MMO games. Is it like football? Games. It's is EverQuest text-based? No. no, it's actual visual-based. Oh. Dave, come on. <laughs> and it had the death toll in real life. What Zork was text-based? Zork was an awesome game. Zork was an awesome it game. It still is an awesome game. I was Druid QT. I talk about like it's dead. There's you. <laughs> How did he get to New York? That's right. Sure do. Akina, do you, do you ever draw <laughs> Visk's characters from his MMOs? We do have a signal. Mm, he's never shown me, actually. I would love to, though. You don't show? I haven't played EverQuest in 15 years. Today is a good day to start back up. Plus, he draws other things of me, usually. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hot dancing you do? No. <laughs> you can tell him it's okay. He has a feathery persona, let's just say. Wow. What does that mean? <laughs> Feathery. She, she seems to have the suspicion of drawing me as an owl. Oh. Yeah, wow. uh, maybe I could. I thought you meant he was like a drag queen for a second. <laughs> which no, was I, like gave, cool. I gave if, that if, up. If he holds still, Max, you could draw some owl feathers on him. Oh, there we go. I have a few examples. They're tiny, though. And I'm always scowling for some reason. <laughs> Our altimeter people are about to get arrested, I think. So let's get this real quick. Tony, how high is Mammoth? Yeah. Uh, was he eight feet high? Eighteen. It's a pretty yep. good guess. Pretty That's good not. Guess. It's not a good guess. I mean, they clearly have gone lower and at ground level. It could level, be an elevated. It could be the elevated. Okay. Who it could be? But but you remember that at ground level, the Matt Harrigan standard was negative 144, right? 
I thought it was 193. No, that was, it's just, that's the math difference. I was going to try and calculate it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's put uh, feathers on Visk. Can you, can you give me a picture in picture of Visk so I can feather him up? Tony, you I, see where he is? If I did picture in picture, I couldn't. Well, you got to see Cam 4 to see what. Uh, should we show the original yeah. first? Yeah, that's what. And then the updated version. Oh, he's a crying owl. Aww. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. And here's Max's version. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's cultural appropriation. Yeah. Why do you do that, Visk? Why do you dress in headdresses? I have a fetish. Wow. That's more Amazonian. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, we need your answer, please. Come on, Tone. Uh, all right. Let's try 20 feet. 20 feet. Okay. Tony is officially locked in. Maybe the maybe yep. not a solid guess, but who knows? Well, I think now is time for Aquino or Patrick to come in with their prior Aquino, knowledge. Aquino, sweep in and oh. win this. Take a guess. Aquino, this is on you. I'm, I'm here to win. so bad at this, though. I really Come on, have Aquino. No we idea. can do it. There's no it's wrong answer. It's called a guess. There's no harm in trying. I'm just going to say 150, then. 150. Okay. Max, let's see it. Let's see it. It's your gentleman. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say I'm feeling... I'm feeling uh, Johnny K. Tyler's negative 165, and there oh it is. God. Negative Johnny 165. Johnny K. Tyler. Oh, wait, right? Wow. Should we wow. give it to Johnny K. Tyler because I read it? Thanks for calling, Tony. No! Garlic Brad guessed a negative 161. Garlic Brad. Garlic Brad! <laughs> All right, guys. Good work down there. We'll be back with you later. Garlic Brad, you get the points. Message me in chat, and I will throw. How many points is that worth? 25? 25 points. You're listening what to Fish Center Live. We're broadcasting live from 54th Street and Broadway. Oh, no. Adult Swim streams live on Broadway. Oh, no. All this week, or at least for the first half. All of your favorite and least favorite streaming companions, such as Max, Dave, and Cho. They're all here with me. 708-794-6386 yes. is the number. At least one person's almost favorite. We have uh, guests in the studio, Aquino and Patrick, and we have Mammoth out on the town. 708-794-6386. If you want to call us. People are really trying to pr uh, pressure Garlic Brad to give his points to someone. I people? hate that. I hate how there's so much pressure in the chat room. No one should have to succumb to their peer pressures. Are all those blood feast goons still rolling around? Oh yeah, man. I said stay over, pack them in. Solving. Mimosa gets the points. Mimosa's getting the points from Garlic Brad. Let's see the scores. Mimosa's in third place. That hamburger hit so many yesterday. Remember what happened at Out the end of the day? Matches. Something oh. happened at the end of the day. Yeah, did someone give him? Somebody won something. Someone won something. Oh, he got like 66 points from the coin competition. Oh, of course, that's oh. right. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How Man, was that, that was amazing. coin competition, Visk? From what I caught, that was quite interesting, actually. Oh, I, I loved it. I didn't think begging for money would work so well for some people. It Man. worked well for Ty. Ty, and that's why. It worked well for Hamburger. How crazy was it that Liz found that coin in the, the phone, though? Yeah, she found four of them. Yeah. Yeah. 
Never thought that was going to happen. I'm glad you didn't find a needle in there instead. Or someone else's finger. How are, uh, Vis so how are you and the wife? You guys having a nice trip? It's nice been a great trip. City? Went to our favorite restaurant down the road. What's got that? To Cafe Zaya. Cafe Zaya? Why is that so special? Zaya? What's that? How do you spell Zaya? Z-A-I-Y-A. -A. Oh, wow. Z-Y-A-I-A. Get it Zagat rating. And we actually brought you guys some curry buns from there for later on. Oh, wow. <laughs> shoot. Is that what's on the... That was in the plastic bag. Oh, my God. Well, that's awful kind of Curry you. buns, curry dude. Buns. Curry buns. <laughs> oh, my God. Open those on the plane. You were talking about them, and I completely forgot. Well, I'm glad I remembered then. Oh, my gosh. Look at how good. And here they are. Cho, I found them. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, dude. Shows in oh, the wow. earth more often. People keep bringing stuff in. Dave got Uzo. I'm going to buy a suitcase. Oh, look at these cakes they have there. They have cakes and stuff, too? They do. Oh, They're actually boy. really, really good. Oh, boy. So what kind of food? Is it sort of pan South Indian or uh, Indian Japanese Southeast bakery, Asian? Japanese pastries, uh, soft serve, uh, Tiramis. bento oh, boxes. So it's Japanese curry. Yeah, it's the best kind of curry, Japanese mm, curry. Ooh, that is good. Making my mouth water. Good accent, Dave. Thanks, New York. Catsoup97 yeah. says, we need to do IRL Coin Quest again. That was fun. Should we do it in, uh, what's it called, land? Uh, what do you mean? San Diego? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Also, Thanks, Cat Soup. apparently there's a birthday image for Cat Soup made. That is a picture of me looking good. Apparently it's Cat Soup's birthday. Oh. Joe, throw this up. Are you eating a little cookie? Actually, it's a curry bun. Where are you in this picture, Max? I'm in the it. spice cabinet we used to do shows from. Why are all those hot sauces in Fish Center? <laughs> hot sauces. Isn't that what that is? Yeah, that's spices. hot sauce. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, it's hot sauce. <laughs> spices in general. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on. You're obsessed with hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. Matt uh, keeps saying he wants to do a chili eating competition. Oh, shut yeah. up. I don't. Good, uh, good hot sauces are really good. Round one. <laughs> that's I mean, true. idiot. Round one. Round hey. One. Come on, let's gotta do this. No way. Again, to do. we're on the road, so this is gonna take a little bit to set up. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna take 27 minutes, and then we can bit. do this sport. A little bit. How are all the other shows doing? Everyone doing all right so far? All the yeah. other streamers? Yeah, I'd say so. Jono has been saying he doesn't feel being a host anymore, and he wants to go and be a sledder. A sledder. He said, "This is I had it. This is the last trip. I'm leaving for sledding. I'm going to Norway." Well, I could see him in a tight little white sweater, turtlenecks, sledding. Oh, hey, guys, it's me, Jono, he would say. We're really looking forward to that. He's going to put think. on He's gonna put on a stage, <laughs> sweater. stage show of his sledding called the Grateful Sled. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, and some of the monologues just keep going. Dave Monowin representing Philadelphia. Gotcha. The capital of pizza, just like we did in the old country, Mamma Mia. Ay, 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 ay. Norway. Is that how they talk there? That's uh, sweet. Oh, okay. Y'all know? Norway. 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 You're watching Fish Center Live, Adult Swim streaming live from Broadway. Bottom of that tee's a little Some wonky. folks like to take a ride, not come back no, again. But every day I know my place Between four and five I'm in a fish center state of mind yeah. Round one Is that new or has that always existed? That's always oh, existed yeah. Max, right. we need a That's fake what Billy Joel wrote his song No, on. you can't do it? No, how about Oh, we need coin? the fake one yeah, You're right coin Put a little five here. Yeah. This indicates the line hamburger must cross in this. With his, with his mouth. Jank Riri. I mean, his butt can cross it, but that wouldn't count. Five, four, three. I'll bet Pat one. Patrick's going to cheer for the Riri. <laughs> Hamburger's coming back. Five, uh, that, that's a Riri line. One, one for TX Copper. Yep. Hamburger passes the Riri, Dave. Hamburger Give him a mouth match. Mouth match. That long achieved. It's because you were cheering. Two, Two for TX Copper. Yeah. No, you're calling Junior again, remember? Shoot. 
Did we miss anything for Junior League? I don't know. One for <laughs> Greenberg. One, one for, for Mom. Mom. One for TX Cover. And we don't have D-Play on the road either. One for TX Cover. One for Slump. Two for Mimosa. Three for Mimosa. If there's anything questionable, we'll check when we get back. One for Slider. <laughs> One for TX cover. One for slump. I mean, we can review it before Blood Feast, and you guys can just review it. One for it slider. We got it. Don't worry about we're not, it. We're not doing so points on Greenberg. Blood Feast. I mean, you guys bring Blood Feast in the fish center all the time. No, we don't. One That's kind of, kind of a one. promotional thing. What's that? It was TX cover got one. Mimosa got two. Another one for Mimosa. One for slump. Another for slump. Another for slump. Mm -hmm. And for TX cover. No one hit the I badass. it's only fair that fish center encroaches upon Blood Feast. No, we're not. We get, actually, Punch. Mike told us not to do that. No one encroaching. Mike. Mike Hanford? Oh, Mike Hanford. Does he clean the toilets every other Tuesday? No, you're thinking of that guy. You're thinking about my canker sores. <laughs> Dave's canker. So I, Dave I think about opens his mouth and cleans it. Oh, I'm laughing at myself. Tia Cupper and Hamburger both getting nine points. There was such a long time when the Riri wasn't doing shiz, but now it's in business. Tell him to restart. Eric, we need you to restart down there, buddy. I like the drums and the swig goes. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. What have uh, your highlights been of uh, the trip so far, guys? Matcha ice cream. Matcha ice cream? Where'd so, you get that? At the Zaya Cafe. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. You guys had a real treat there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we go there whenever we can because our other favorite place closed down. Oh, I hate when that happens. Man, is that call still connected? Yeah. Do you guys have a guilty pleasure? You can hear me? Oh, I have lots of guilty pleasures. <laughs> Let's hear them. All right. Dr. Pepper when she's not looking. Uh oh. Uh oh. You. Uh -oh. Get out of here. What are you drinking in the closet or how do you do that? Um. Well, if I talk, he's going to find out. Oh, okay. Oh. You ever catch him drinking DP? <laughs> drinking the doctor? He doesn't exactly hide it, though. He leaves his empty cans and such everywhere. Although one time I did find a few empty cans underneath the couch, which is oh. embarrassing. Oh, no. What? You can't hide your empty Dr. Yeah. In my defense, those were six months old. Yeah. That that's not a everywhere. defense. <laughs> Do you think that's a cry for help, like he wants to get caught? This just makes it more fun when I'm caught. How many? I think, I think mm -hmm. moderation is the key to any good relationship. Are, do you like uh, go Compromise. like a few few weeks without drinking Dr Pepper and then binge on it? I don't binge, but I can go a few weeks or months without it. When I broke yeah. my hip, I didn't have any for four months. Oh wow! Have you ever done like people do shots through their eye? Have you ever drink Dr Pepper through your eye? Um, no, my eye is kind of uh, on a, on a non-soda diet. Good to know. That's pretty lame. So it's just all soda in general, or it's yeah. like the sugar, or the caffeine? Dr. Pepper. What, what is I just it? like Dr. Pepper a lot, and I, I hate most of their sodas besides birch beer. So by giving it up, what are you giving up exactly? Just soda in general, is that what it is? Pretty much. I don't drink any of their sodas because nothing else around me is good. Birch well, beer is I awesome. mean, we birch have. Beer is incredible. I like birch beer. We have water, <laughs> but he claims that our tap water is awful. So, yeah. well, the tap water looks like chocolate milk. And insights into oh, wow. a brand strategy and design wrong. for the alcohol beverage category. What? Huh? <laughs> All right, it's time for round three, our final round. No. Uh, oh, yeah, of that game. Go oh. ahead. Oh. Our final round. I've got a good piece of music for it, Matt. You're going to love this. Oh, man. How high is Mammoth? Play Silent Night.
Those guys yeah. last night again, the Voltaires. What was the their Voltaires. name? Yeah, they're the Voltaires. I don't remember their name. <laughs> oh, we gotta go again. There's only three of you, though. You can't be at a barbershop. The guests are the guesses are pouring in in chat. <laughs> How high is Mammoth? Joe, see if you can find a caller out there. 708-794-6386. We will take exactly one phone call. People sometimes ask us, how high were you when Matt Harrigan made up Fish Center? You can count windows really quick. Now you can tell. Blue. So they went by the construction part of town. It's a meetup of the teamsters. It's like Atlanta. Every block is under construction. Lulaberry says 600 feet. Rabbit Jesus says 520. So people are going above the negative now. Smart. He appears to be on the, gosh, I couldn't tell you what floor he's on. You gotta guess that stuff. Okay. Guests, your guest, please. I'm going to guess 371. Mm. 371. Okay. And you, madam? Hmm. 400. 400. Okay. Interesting. Now, do you guys support different fish in this fish race? I'm a fan of ale. I like plump. I like on the low, so it's pretty sad. Okay, it's time to reveal the answer. The question, how high is Mammoth? Is and our answer? Is that Tyler the Teen Intern? 282 feet. Ooh. For in real life, would have been plus 193, so it would have been like 478. 285. Ish. We're locking it in at 285. How does it change like that? So are we going by the absolute, like the reading, or are we going no, we're by going the, by the reading because it's the, the Harrigan adjusted. standard. Did anybody guess that? Two eighty-two. Who's the closest? Infinite Viking said two fifty. That's the closest I see so far. The Harrigan <laughs> altitude meter is H A M, like hamburger. Oh. Two fifty-nine says Jean Paul Marat. And it, what was it again? Two eighty-two, I think. Two eighty-five. Two eighty-five. Jean Paul Marat's the closest. Oh, but Infinite Vikings said earlier thirty, but that's too many guesses, right? Joe, you're going to have to make this call. Um, the closest two that you see, there's some, what else was in 200? 300 was the closest I saw. And then there was only, a, I mean, 15. So 300 went over. Unless there was, yeah, I do prices right rules. Oh, okay. Closest mm. without going over? Okay. Closest Square without says going. 285. But I suspect yeah, but. it might have come in a little late. <laughs> <laughs> no, then the closest was uh, the 250-something. 259, up. I think it was. That sounds right. John Paul Marat gets John the Paul points. Marat. He just kissed it. I wonder if he'll drink it. Probably would. He like Tony said. Shady. Make Tony pretty jealous. Way to go, John Paul Marat. Thanks, guys. Let's get Mammoth back down to earth. All right, thanks, guys. Cool. <laughs> Round two. You see Terry out there doing that uh, schedule before? That was cool. Schedule looks like it is. It's still there. Oh, yeah. That hopscotch thing. That's fun. I saw a couple people participating. Did they really? Yeah. Jumping in there. K2, I believe, really wanted us oh, to have it picture in picture the whole show. Sure, K2. Wow. Oh, there's Terry. I really like Top Scotch. Terry's here. Although, doesn't that have to have um, numbers, like points in the boxes? And something to throw into it? I don't remember how to play Top Scotch. Yeah, there's numbers and stuff. You have a little coin or a rock? Yeah. Chris Stern Live, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, Lawton, Oklahoma. Hey, Lawton. Oh. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, what is this? 
<laughs> this is Fish Center Live. It's a, a marine-based, uh, marine-themed uh, interactive this call is, This is a phone call. Call and show. <laughs> you, you, what are you oh. doing? You put numbers into your device, and then you <laughs> dial, and then you can talk to someone. Oh. oh, cool. Do I talk about fish? Yeah, you're talking about fish. Or Revy's, which is because it's the season of Corvettes. It's oh. also the spring or, of or pasta. Can tell us about the last rash you got. Pretty All right. Good. The last rash I got, uh, probably when I was like nine, I fell into a bush of poison ivy. Oof. Fell into the bush. But you haven't had a rash since you were nine? Fell, fell into, into the bush. bush. Uh, not one that I know about. Wow, you're living pretty good then. Yeah. Boy, you just missed so, a really great game. Are fungal infections rashes? Sure, they can be. My fungal oh. infection's coming back. Is that a sound effect or is that a real thing? Did something just fall? I think something. Oh. Like, yeah. Just uh, drop okay. Mammoth. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Okay, so... Oh, my gosh. Will you please pick up Mammoth and put uh, him back in that jar? Oh, man, his head fell off. Wait, wait, Max oh, wanted wait, to there's like a, wait, is there a dead fish in that jar? Yeah. Oh, cool. What flavor is it? Uh, alcohol and fish. Is, yeah, it's, just, it's speculation. Ooh. Hmm? Oh, scotch. Do you make sick a lot? Do I get sick a lot? Uh, I get... Sore throats occasionally, yeah. and like weird sores along my lips, but canker I don't get sores. terribly sick. Those are canker sores. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, cold yeah, those, sores. Those are cold sores. That's herpes. Oh, that's herpes, man. I'm sorry. No. So is this what you thought it was when you called? Oh, yeah. Dude walked so, over thanks, broke. Thanks for, having me. thanks for calling. <laughs> you have a nice. All right. Nice guy. Nice guy. Great guy. Okay, guy. I wish more callers were just like that guy. Yeah, he was just innocent and curious. Innocently curious. Oh, no, shoot, voice. dude. I'd love to listen to this conversation, but it's round two. I'd love to hear that. Round two. Oh, it's Bob Dylan. All right, Max, you're watching Junior League, remember? Yes. Now I remember. Here we go. Greenbird, uh-oh. Negative five. Plus one for Top Xander. Negative five for Ale. One for Greenbird. Negative five for Flump, and then one for Flump, and another negative five for Flump. Two for Top Xander, one for Ale. Uh, negative three for Top Xander, blocking Ale. Negative four for Hot Steve, negative three actually, and mouth a negative match, three for Flump. Uh, mouth match is achieved. Nice. Two for Top Xander. Negative three for Flump. Greenbird hits the badass. Plus Greenbird. 25. Negative Who, five wait, for Jeremy Lay. Who got the badass? Greenbird, Greenbird. Greenbird. Got plus 25. And another two for Flump, and then another one for Flump, and another one for Flump. Negative four for Top Xander. Negative five for Flump, though. Two for Top Xander, and there's one for Mimosa. Strong. Negative five for Greenberg. One for Top Xander. Negative five for Jeremy Leg. Negative. negative five for Hot Steve. Negative three for Flump. Negative four for Slider. Negative three for Mom. Two for Top Xander. One for Jeremy Leg. One for Flump. Negative five for Hot Steve. One for Flump. Oh shit. Negative five for Flump. One for Top Xander. Two for Greenberg. Negative three for Mom. One for Ale. Negative five for Flump and a plus one uh, for Flump at the end. Holy shit, I hurt. Yeah. I think I missed a point or two. Did you? I think I did, yeah. No. A lot oh. of things are happening that round. That's pretty cool of you to be like, open about I it. I just don't know if... Uh, did Slider get a point? Because I thought I heard that. You know, oh, uh, Frico P666 says, I bet Greenbird burns that kush. Nah. different people messing with that schedule on Saturday all what do you mean messing with it I don't know people expect things to get destroyed when you leave them out some on the street like what if they wrote like they went got shock and wrote 11 oh, dick yeah. sandwich or something <laughs> oh man tune in so what do we got we got fish center now 
It's two morning bullshit evening edition. A five assembly line, yeah. I wonder what they're making. Do you know, Dave? Uh, I do not know. Here. Yeah, Jiang's not here. I do. Well, I don't know how much I should give away, but I do know they have a guest. Who that guy's curious. This episode might put a bit oh, of a spell on you. I go home and oh, hang out in my socks and tank top. Bit of a spell on you. Is it a magician? No, something like that. Development meeting, taking live pitches from you, the listener. I bet that guy has like a really, really ratty, lazy boy in his living room. I can't see what's on it. Look how bad Flump did that round. Holy cow. But Hamburger Mouth matched again, getting the 18 Greenbird right. got. Greenbird, Hamburger, Tex Copper. Mimosa, the four fish to watch this week so far. But, you know, in this upfront week, are things a little different? Yeah, yeah tomorrow we'll be starting uh, at 3 over at Terminal 5. Starting at 3 at Terminal 5. That's, the upfront is actually tomorrow. What are we doing Thursday and Friday? Drugs. <laughs> uh, did John Paul Morat get points for when he won that game? No. No, okay. How many points is that worth? Well, he says he wants him to go to Greenbird. So he was he didn't get the exact answer. He's the one who said like one five fifty nine and it was two. He was closest. Yeah. He was closest. I mean so full value. Twenty five. Would have been twenty five. I mean he was closest. He's gotta get full value. Okay. Oh I, oh, I was just wondering if I could call back. What's I your name where are you calling me from? A nice guy. Hey. Oh, I'm I'm the guy from Lawton. But oh. you can call me John. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right, you're do, back. Do you like cartoon? Yeah. Do you like cartoon girls? I when I was younger, I think I did. I think there it's was something. Uh, oh, I'm always Has chewing on that. Little cartoon something? girl in his mouth. Yeah. What, what was, was that? Your you put in your pocket. Yeah. You what did you take out of your mouth? He, has a, whole, your he has a whole collection of suck toys. <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are they? Are they kids like pacifier? Are they? <laughs> we found a pacifier <laughs> on the floor here. A pacifier. It's in one of the cases. Yeah. Who's your favorite cartoon girl? Do you like anime? I love anime. I like cotton. Wrong from number. King of the Hill. I like the the chick Bugs Bunny. Lola Bunny. Mm. Is that her name, Lola? Yeah. Yes. Ch Joe's a furry. I don't think so, because she's animated. Oh, right? that's right. It's not a furry if she's animated. I don't that's know. That's a different thing. I don't know. There's so many. You know, back when I was a kid, there was only animated or real. Now there's all sorts of in betweens. Yeah. Man, what a difficult... Glad you called back, Lawton. Thanks for calling. Wait, I'm not going to play a game? No. I got a game for our guests here. That was sounded okay. broken. Can you guys see the thing at all? They will uh, in a second. It's called, Which Host Is This Project Named After? <laughs> hmm. Just guess whenever? Whenever you uh, want. Not ready yet. 1,500 milligrams? This is worth That's about the right amount. That's a lot. Does this maximize something? Well, mm. well so what are you saying? Pretty good logic. I think you might be on a good idea. <coughs> what are those diamonds? Making things real hard. Oh. Rock hard. Right. Diamonds aren't rocks. Yeah, they are. They're it's compressed coal. Compressed They're coal. Nice. They're crystal. Coal isn't a rock. Coal is a powder. There are five states of matter in the world. <laughs> Coal is a fuel. Come on. This is important. What's the guess? It's an industry. So you think it's max? I think so. We're going to say max. For the 25 points, is it max? Sounds confident. I don't know. What's it say down here? <laughs> What's it say? For max. What's it say? <laughs> we have a max. You know, New York. I wow. Uh, seven it. days, no headache. Wet Dirt Mud knew exactly what product it was by name. Wow. Surely so that's now got some value chart. Only way to find out. Some people well, say, think here, it was Diamond let's Dave. We Let, didn't, let's pop them, see what happens. We didn't okay. offer it to the chat, so I'd say the chat guesses were... I would snort no, that shit. No, like, boy. if I go to a party, I'm going to snort live Dave, a Dude, you have such milligrams? a funny bone, Dave, do it boner. Dave, front Tomorrow. You have such a hard oh, nose. What yeah. a funny boner Dave Get would have. Popped up on Libamax and just run around the party. Patrick, what's the funniest boner you've had? As in the literal ones or the uh, stupid embarrassing stuff? You serious, Existential boners. I don't know, the literal boners. Yeah. Hmm. Funniest literal boner. Probably waking up with one. That's 
<laughs> and then violating your wife while she's sleeping. What, what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> wow. Leave your dreams out of this, okay? Wow. Siri, call 911. We got a big old bingo case. Just kidding. Don't do it. No, no, cancel. <laughs> Whoa, call 911. Even if you say, oh, apparently it thought I said we got Abigail bingo. <laughs> well, kind of. Just kidding. Don't do it. Libamax. I'm horny. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. I was remembering what it was like to be younger. Uh, yeah, I was remembering too. Jiang and I, when we'd hear car horns, we would sing a song that goes, Honk, honk if, if you're horny. Honk if you're horny. Oh, I miss wow. my girlfriend. It's terrible. Round. If she was here, she would have oh, sung God that. damn it, Dave. I didn't hook up Criterion again. Round three of Coin Quest. Changed the entire week. Especially since. Uh, I think better step up this time. I think we have the. So oh, there's a cool bar. Uh, uh. We might have a mouth match coming. Uh oh. Mouth match. Oh. Is. Hamburgers weak, my friend. Wow. How's he getting all these mouth matches? <laughs> He's very active. Five Whoa. for Top Sander and six more for Top Sander. Six for Mom. Top Sander was one coin away from a trace bonus. That's a coin. They got coin. Oh, is that green, five, five for Greenbird? Five for Greenbird, yep. And a one for Mimosa. This TV is very con like six low for contrast. Top Sander. Badass hit by Mimosa. Six for Ale. Minus ten. For Mimosa? Yeah. yeah. Seven, five for Jeremy Leg. Seven for Top Sander. Five for Slider. One for Jeremy Leg. Six for Greenbird, five for Mimosa, one for Top Sander. Can't wait to see what Akina's been drawing. One for Top Sander, one for Greenberg. I think he'll be happy with it. Uh -oh. I don't know. My sketchbook isn't exactly PG, so. Five don't so it's, it's, PG stuff. it's what? scary. What? Five for Greenberg? Yep. And scary moaning borders? Six for Top Sander. Just relax. Let's do Coin Quest right now. Sorry, Let's focus. Dave. Five for Greenberg. Six for Top Sander. Scary moaning borders. That's scary. Scary moaning borders. That's a round already? Oh, yeah. That's a pretty valuable mouth match for Hamburger. I feel like we already know who's in the Roto show. Another bad showing for Ale. Ale's blown it, man. He started out strong. All he the spellcasters are failing. This season, he hasn't really been. He kicked ass so last season. This time, I don't know what's wrong with him. Bad spell casters. Yeah, maybe not enough spells. Yeah. Maybe he needs some Libimax. Ooh. Right. Let's feed the fish pills. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting to see, actually. I thought Ail's the one who was drumming, though. Yeah, he's the bongo king. You have a problem with that? No, we like that. <laughs> oh, have my he, God. Have you done erotic fan art of him and his bongos? Hmm. Give her some time. Stupid morning bongos. He doesn't have feathers, though. You can give him feathers. 708-794-6386. Adult Swim Stream is broadcasting today and tomorrow. Well, it's mostly today. Deep into the night. Live from Broadway. There's the schedule. No, that's the scores. Oh, the schedule was there a second ago. Last stream on the left. They're coming here to broadcast from here. That'll be cool. William Street Swap Shop. They're going to be live and... Blood feast. It's that greasy mob in here last night. We got Peter coming tonight. Everyone wanted Peter back. Peter is back. Who's Peter? You met him. Also, I've met lots of Peters. Max and Dave take a limo. Hold up. What? <laughs> All this and more on tonight's blood feast. Oh boy. When we start dripping, the comedy starts ripping. It's for laughs. That's basically a fish center. S slick drip. Well, that was rip. Yeah. for fish you center. Can't plagiarize oh. from fish center. It's leaking. Oh. Everyone wants to be hanging out near the schedule. Look at that. All the pink shirts and red yeah. bags. People starting to come home from work. Well, apparently that gray post is a charging station. Do you guys do any shopping while you're in town? Uh, we're going to do that a little later, probably. Where do you shop? Uh, the Nintendo store is one place I like going to. Uh -huh. What do you want to get? Uh, I want to see if they have Binding of Isaac for the Switch. Ooh. What's that? 
What's that? Uh, Binding of Isaac is a very dark game. Think old Legend of Zelda for NES dungeon levels oh, yeah, made Binding more grotesque. It's very good, Matt. It's, it's incredible. Fish on Live, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Touchmaster3000. Who are you? You sound like Mike Bollard. Oh, thank you. Uh, Matt Bollard. You know Mike Bollard? I do. I'm Matt Bollard. Uh, you're, Ma uh, you're Matt. We're uh, second hey, Matt cousins. Bullard. You're related? Yeah. You guys got any free time? You're going to go see some theater? I highly recommend Kinky Boots. you got to see Kinky Boots. I love Boots. that suggestion. So uh, you know what? I do a lot so of shopping. About Kinky I love Boots. these fish. When I come to New York, the only thing I want to do is buy presents for, for the fish that we love. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you're not really going to give Mom hot dogs, are you? Maybe. He'd probably like it. You're a hot dog. Thanks for coming. That's not healthy, dude. We already did round three. Guy was super into it. <laughs> Didn't look like Style Toy. Did you tell him what Style Toy looked like? Yeah, I told him it was an orange. Looked like TX Cupper. He got it backwards. That looks like TX Cupper. He looked like he was in a happy place when he was making that wide, Thank you. He didn't have a wide variety of fish to choose from. He made a round fish. Give me a break. I like that. If, he's, if he, you're watching that, sir, I enjoy it. Let's see the art. He wants to see your art. Come on, let's see it. Mm. Show it. I promise. PG-13 is okay. I didn't come here to show off like this, so I don't know. Come Listen, on. I have to show off every day because I'm a living talent. Here we go. You're going to be liked it. Well, I'll show off this instead then. It's your little Necronomicon. Whoa. That's cool. What's that? Is that made out of chocolate? It's made out of uh, old milk carton that I cleaned out. That's awesome. And some newspaper and hot glue, and I painted it with acrylics. Wow. It's falling apart, though, because it's hot glue and it's weak. But not bad for a first try, I thought. Aquino and Patrick, thanks for coming on Fish Center. Thank you for having us. We hope everyone will stick around. It's coming up in just a few short minutes. Stupid morning bullshit. Thanks Ooh. for watching.
PT. King of the beach, you ride to him in your fleet. Wood coop the veal rolling on dubs. How you feel? Whoop de whoop. What? Dre and Snoop hitting corners in the lag. With Doc in the back sipping on yak. Clipping all the amps, dipping through hoods. What hood? Compton, Long Beach, Inglewood. South Central out to the west side. It's California love. It's California bug. Got your boy a gang of pub. I'm on one. I might bell up in the Century Club. With my jeans on and my team strong. Get my drink on and my smoke on. Then go home with something to poke on. Locus on for the two triple O. Coming real, it's the next episode.